Look at that down there. So clear. I'm tempted to get in it. Do you know what I think I might get in it on the way back down tomorrow? Quick dip. Shame it's so busy. People walking past while I'm sitting splashing, having fun. <laughs> famous ice house just coming out of the forest and we're just going to be heading up up this sort of step up to the saddle and then that's when I choose which way to go uh, but I just with the seats and the, obviously camping gear, gear takes away a little bit but sure I will drink through the week <laughs> just stopped there to fill us some water looked decent enough I don't know how far it goes up or what it's like, so I wasn't taking any chances, just got it now. Um, GoPro keeps messing about, I think it's with the heat. Keeps cutting off on us and stuff like that, so if I'm talking half mid it goes off, well, you know why. So yeah, that's my second destination. Oh, tell you what, this past spin line <laughs> takes out here a little bit. Oh. Uh, I definitely picked the wrong day for it, like, uh, I think when I get a bit further up I'll put a long sleeve uh, top on, just to keep us out of the UV. Aye, but slight little breeze, uh, nothing too much, but some views, like, so, but aye, uh, I'm going all the way up there. I don't know how well you can see it in this light, but this like fears off and then back on itself and then up to the saddle, coming as up here and then Donald's up this way. So we'll find out when we get there. Aye, so um, I was up at the Muslim, Muslim Dem, I think it's called up in Benon, just a temple over right in the cliffs, just with the family this week. Really nice spot, uh, especially for like the kids and that. Nice easy walk, not too far. Well, apart from the four year old. <laughs> but uh, I'll put a little clip on. I took the drone up, it's really nice. Uh, uh, so I was checking out for potential camping spots, but I think if you camped on there, you'd get in trouble for it. Maybe down at the beach somewhere, having been on beach would be nice. But yeah. I think I might get the poles out soon. Even got the drone out there. <laughs> that was messing about with the heat. Wasn't pressing stop the cord or anything like that. It's a bit strange. So it's a little breeze. It's not too bad. Hopefully, when I get over this saddle, it'll blow in a bit, but not too much. So I've got that three FUL tent, uh, and I wouldn't really want to use it in too strong winds. Maybe it's 30 mile an hour max. It's about it. But yeah, we're getting there slowly, keep stopping, taking photos and just pissing about really. <laughs> Tell you what, you can see for miles, don't know how well you can be us, there's a nice little breeze coming in there. But, uh, see just the edge of uh, Newcastle, 
in a nice walk up but just wasn't prepared for it <laughs> sitting having a few beers every night takeaways uh, just feeling groggy so at the minute the way I'm feeling I might just go straight up to Commodore because there's a water source up there uh, crack one of these beers open <laughs> oh, getting closer to the saddle tell you what I'm not feeling it today like uh, what I think I might do is just hurt I can't even talk head up Commodore uh, for the night and in the morning as long as I've had a good night's sleep and stuff like that I might just do uh, the top of Donard on the way back tomorrow morning and then just come back down here back to the car uh, I don't know what's wrong with it just can't be bothered really to tell you the truth just want to be up there <laughs> I think I've had it good the last couple of times with the coastals uh, I'm just I'm out of shape points over there so I need to go and obviously touch it to see I've done it just scoping out where best to set the tent up there's so many good views you know do I get the mountains or do I pitch over there get the ocean it's a hard one <laughs> right let's find this top Right, well I found the water source. <laughs> it's only halfway down the other side. <laughs> nah, not quite. You come down a little bit. And uh, there it is. Commonly I've found it. Buzzing. I suppose that's pretty fresh. You can't get fresh on that. So, I've emptied me of a water out and I'm gonna fill a whole lot up here. But aye. That's me set for the night once I could do that. Yeah, some people coming. Uh, so better fill up quick. <laughs> right, that's me water filled. Just climb back up there. It was worth it. Worth a little walk for it. As fresh as anything that like that well deserved needed. Oh, felt great. But whoever put that little pipe in there, do you know what I mean? I think it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Stinks. Jesus. Oh. Right, well, I haven't finished this walk till I get to the summit. So, not far from now. But once I've done that, have a little scope around, find somewhere to pitch. Get a well deserved beer. Ooh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Can you have this? We should take the piss out of David for doing it. It's bag. And then I would say about an hour later, mine started doing it. And it's been doing it ever since. <laughs> it's annoying as hell. Spell for choices for camping spots. It's actually annoying. I was hoping there was just going to be one. Oh, what do I do now? 
because look at this you've got the beach down there the wall in Northern Ireland as you come on the other side of the wall look at the moans oh I don't know <laughs> Still in two minds here, so I'm going to check the wall again. <laughs> uh, I was just talking to a fella there who was doing uh, doing walking around the moons. He was a really nice fella. He's up here all the time. Uh, it was nice talking to him, and he's a Newcastle supporter. So nice speaking to you. Um, maybe he's bumping here again sometime. But yeah, um, I just don't know. I'm going to keep looking here. Right, that's me finally set up and decided. Just went here. Um, sacrificing the ocean. Well, I suppose you can see a little bit there. But it's nothing, um, you can't see Newcastle or anything like that. So I'm just going to do that next time I'm around here. Camping in this location. That's my spot. But I was going to be that. Or this. I think they're just going to land here. Yeah. Yeah, someone's stuck. Hen Ward's burner. Anyway, I'll show you there. We set up quickly. So, well, look. Same as last time. What the hell's that on me? Freaking just a bit of mud. OEX summer mat, file underneath, just in case, and the ice frame quilt. Loving this quilt at the minute. Uh, really good. I would like to see how far I could uh, push it with the weather, you know. It's supposed to get due to zero degrees, but I wouldn't go off too much off that, you know. But uh, uh, the Trekology pillow, it's close. And I've freaking set up on a bit of a ditch, so I put my bag in this time. Normally I would put it out here, but I've just done that. It stopped my legs from sliding down. But it got to a stage where I was just thinking, look, just set up. <laughs> uh, cook set. There's a few beers there. A couple of them porters again, they're quite nice. Like I say, a couple of them sweet. Uh, I don't know if you would have four of them, like, but uh, porridge, one of them instant meals, uh, one of them titanium, really thin windshields. I'll try that tonight, see if it's any good. Water, and me Mavic Mini. So, yeah, that's me all set up. Got a mini radio there and stuff like that. Um, with but I think I'm gonna get a good sunset here and then I'll maybe just walk over to the over the top there tomorrow catch the sunrise because Donald I think is gonna be in front of it tomorrow so yeah finally can relax <laughs> the helicopter's still flying around there like uh, so that's the helicopter's just Helicopter's just uh, landed 
just a tears gap just off it. So I hope someone's alright. I think it might have something to do with the heat stroke today. It's 25 degrees. Flying around these moons, it's tight going, you know. Uh, especially if you haven't got enough uh, water and uh, food and stuff like that, you know, you can, it'll catch you out. So, well deserved after that day, I think. Shame I didn't get up to Donad for a little look just to sign it off, but. It was too hot. I couldn't. Look, I did feel far enough. Getting tapped here by midges. So, uh, yeah. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my uh, cook set together. Together. For um, I'll show you what I've got. Most people have probably seen it before, but just in case you've never watched this video or never seen my videos, I'll go through my little setup. So yeah, my setup. If I pull this out, move that out of the way. Oh. This is how it is. I have the Cedar Summit cup just sitting on top of the, the lid. It fits in there perfectly. So inside here, that's where I have the gas stand. One of them little sparks for the gas. It's like seven pound. Well overpriced, but uh, to tell you the truth, it's done the job. <laughs> so, and the MSR Pocket Rocket Two, class little stove. Uh, a lot of people use the jet boils and stuff like that, but I like that little thing, you know. And inside there is my gas. Went to uh, Decathlon the other week, and I had these ones for. It was like 3 99 or something like that. Normally I buy the jet boil ones and around about 6 to 6 50 So ideal. They fit perfectly into the into this pot. So yeah, that's what I would take. Oh I also I've got this. Uh, I've never used it yet. I, I bought one of these, but it was the smaller one. So it wasn't high enough for the to protect the, the flame. So I bought a new one so I'll be testing this out later on or this tomorrow morning. Tell you the truth, it's not that windy, so I'll probably get away with it. But yeah, I think that thing will cost about £15. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to it. So, I saw all these sheep have just turned up. It's like growling or snarling at us. <laughs> they don't want to be doing that through the night, yeah, I'll show you.
Hey, well that's me for the night. Uh, just chilled out really. Uh, perfect sunset, absolutely brilliant. Definitely chose the right uh, side of the wall. Um, I'll definitely do the other side as well, looking down on the coast, but uh, I think I picked right tonight with the moans and the mountains. But uh, I'm not good. That heat's just took it out, it was all day. Like I say, the helicopters were out as well. So hopefully the people were getting caught out. Obviously having not enough water and stuff like that. I'm sure we'll find out in the news if there's any anything serious. Sunrise on a bit of a time lapse. Hopefully, I got it. I was going to get the drone out there, but the lads there with the tents, I think they're still sleeping, so I don't want to be buzzing around with it being annoying. Right, so that's me as always. Uh, leave no trace. This is where I was. Wasn't too bad, a little bit of a slope, but sure. Um, I was thinking about Donard. Uh, it looks, it's looking like it's getting busy already. So I'm thinking, obviously with the heat, I'm just going to have a slow walk back. Uh, maybe it's back the way I came through the forest. Maybe it's wash my face and stuff like when I get down there. Hopefully, I can get the car out. <laughs> yeah, so we'll head back down slowly. Yeah, we'll have a little around. Been a good one. I think I've just timed it right. It's starting to get really hot, so I'm shaded a bit here with the trees. And the car's not too far from me. I think about half an hour, something like that. So, um, yeah, I'll not be out next week. I think I'm going to watch Jaws, uh, but I'll be floating in a ring on water. It's like a big cinema screen somewhere. So I think that'll be fun. And then. Maybe plan to make crap of that. I'm not too sure if it'll be up the moons again or coastal. I'll just play it by yeah. But anyway, cheers for watching. I appreciate it if you got this far. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.